this is Ben from Ben's Kitchen and Garden and I am at the side of my house here and I'm going to show off how I trim basil and also how I trim basil when I'm farming, just not at my house. But this is a really, really good thing to know because basil is amazing. It'll go all summer, but you just have to make sure that you're pruning it in a way that it's going to be bushy and that it just keeps growing and growing and growing so you don't get this super leggy, stemmy, not very like leafy basil because you know we want the leaves. So let me show you here. I have my plants set up on the side of my house, which is just where they get a lot of sun. Um, there's also one hilarious um, looking kale plant, which is extremely unhealthy. Um, let's see where, oh, there it is. Yeah, you can see, wow, that's, that's horrible. But the rest of these plants are looking really good. And this is really gonna be one of the first times I'm trimming this basil up. So I'm gonna show you this and I'll take a couple other shots too that are a little bit more in detail and closer up, but it's actually pretty straightforward. So there's just a couple indicators that you're looking for. So as I adjust my camera here and I keep talking, <laughs> you'll see this is a pot full of basil. It's gorgeous. I mean, the colors right now are just stunning. But if you look here, this is two different kinds of basil. There's this one here that I really like to grow. It's called lettuce leaf basil. And it'll actually get the size of a lettuce leaf. I mean, it's like impressive how big it gets. And then the other one is like your classic Italian variety. Um, I'd have to look at the name of it, but you can see deep, deep green, beautiful leaf, and just a little bit more of that classic basil shape. This one has got much more of like a wrinkled lettuce leaf kind of appearance. It's actually a little bit milder. I really like it. I've grown it for a few years now and I think it's pretty fun. And this leaf, I mean, this leaf gets massive. I've had a couple that are probably like, you know, this big or whatever. I'm telling big fish stories now here, but whoa, this big maybe. So check it out. This is really, really simple. I can do this with my little garden shears here, or I can just do this with my hands. But all I'm really trying to do, and I'll show another shot of this so it's closer, but all I'm trying to do is make sure that I cut this so that instead of going up vertically like this, it goes out and it goes wide. And the way I do that is, there's, there's a couple ways you could do this, but the way I do it is I look for this, let's see, I'll move this one, there we go. I look for this little joint right here and I can take that middle piece off. Now let's see, I'm gonna take another shot while I'm talking here, but this middle piece right here, this is what I'm gonna cut off. So you can see it splits, do, 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 and then up the middle. I wanna just take this middle off right here and super clean. Now I have this, this is a 100% usable. I mean, there's, I always use the stem anyways, but if I was gonna chop this up for a salad, this is completely usable. Same thing with this variety right here. This one is already getting super bushy. And so I can look at this stem here and be like, okay, yeah, this, this is growing really strong. I could probably take this down pretty far. In fact, I might take it all the way down to about here, which is, you know, that's way further down than the other one I did. But now that middle stem is off, and let's get a little bit closer view here. Now, if I was going to, I could trim this again, or I could have trimmed this again, you know, on the plant a little bit higher up as I just zoom, as I focus in. And you can see, oh, so close, right there in the middle. That's the spot I'm looking for. So if I'm trying to trim my plant, prune my plant, I'm going right at this center point because what that allows me to do is when this grows, this shoots out both sides and I don't get this huge stem down, 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 and then very few leaves. I get a ton of leaves and they're all going out on the side. And then the other thing is that just keeps it going for the whole year. The whole growing season, I'll have bushy, beautiful basil. And you can just see, I mean, I'm just so impressed with the coloring right now. It smells so good. I'm sure people grow basil at home, you know what I'm talking about, but this is, gorgeous right now so that's what i'm going to do i'm actually going to trim up the rest of this pot and i'll take a few more shots so you can see but just simple quick i'm thinking i'm doing like a little fresh herb series on the blog here so make sure you follow along with that i'll have some more herb growing techniques but i think fresh herbs are probably the easiest way to improve your cooking and they are absolutely delicious 
So I'm gonna finish this. I'll take a few more shots for more cooking and gardening. Check out benskitchenandgardens.com. Thank you.